identifying matching sides and angles in similar triangles. It can be very difficult with some of the harder sets of triangles to identify matching sides and matching angles. Here's two of the sorts that you most commonly see and let's just talk through them. It can help to redraw your two triangles as two separate triangles like I've done here because this first one the triangles overlap. Because this top angle is the same on both triangles, you know that those two angles match and are equal. Parallel lines in these situations are usually matching sides. So these two sides match Excuse me. <coughs> so we know that I've got matching sides at the bottom of the two triangles where the parallel lines are. And then nice and easily the two triangle two angles on the left match and the two angles on the right match. We can prove it with parallel lines, but we can also just see it with lined triangles up. In the second example, the triangles aren't aligned in the right way. And it can help to, again, separate them out into two triangles that are lined up in the same way. The two angles that touch at vertical lines vertically opposite angles are equal and so I know that that angle at the top there because I've just flipped my triangle matches and then we can just look at the large triangle where it was and the little triangle where I've moved it to and match up the angles that are in the same position but you can see that where the triangle was back over here, if we rotate that back around, the matching angles are actually opposite sides on our original diagram. So if ever we see this sort of hourglass shape of two triangles touching at a point, then opposite angles on those two sides are equal and match. And it's because they're alternate angles in a set of parallel lines. It's very important to recognize which angles match. And of course, once we've matched the angles, we know which sides match. So the side on, well, between the double angle and the single angle that I've marked, let's call that side A, between the double and the single, it's here on the big triangle, but over here opposite on the little triangle. So the sides match on opposite sides as well. It can be a little bit tricky. A quick example, find the value of x. We still just need to do scale factor is copy over original. Pick a pair of matching sides. The parallel lines are easiest. The copy is our small triangle. So I've got 6 over 10 because those are the easiest to work out which is matching. So my scale factor is 0 0.6. then I must work out to calculate x which side matches x and you'll remember for these upside down triangles it's the side opposite it over here at 8. So x is going to be 8 times the scale factor of 0 0.6 
grab our calculator again, 8 times 0 0.6, and x will be 4.8. So just a quick example of when some of the triangles can get trickier.